Oh, for real. Oh, time again. Oh, y'all know what time it is. It's the Wake and Bake Show with your girl, Miss Green Jeans. Yes, I am ready. It up the road about four hours in the ATL. They has the National Drug Conference. I ain't there, but you know what? I got some great people that's up there, and I'm quite sure they're going to be giving us updates throughout the day. And um, I know that Russ Belleville is there, so um, I won't be doing a show at noon today. I'm going to be trying to catch up with all the information that's being put out up there since I wasn't able to go. But check this out, though. For right now, we're going to deal with what's, what's here. We're going to have Miss Emily McSherry back this morning. Yeah, she's going to be with me at the 930 hour. I'm very excited about that. We got a lot of upcoming events here in the Carolinas that y'all need to know about, so y'all stand by. We're going to get this public service announcement on the way. Hey, it's Friday Eve. Y'all better act like you know. It's the Wake and Bake Show with your girl, Miss Green Jeans. We'll be right back. Are you you feeling feeling like a shadow shadow of yourself? yourself? Is your mood on its way down? You could be suffering from low THC, also known as cannabinoid deficiency, caused by 77 years of government interference via prohibition. Do you live in a medical cannabis state or the District of Columbia? Are you over the age of 18 and seeking non-toxic natural health, well-being, and peace of mind? Ask your doctor if cannabis may be right for you. After 10,000 years of recorded human use and 77 years of failed prohibition on the world's most extensively tested plant, the results are in. Cannabis has no known lethal dose and is arguably the safest and most comprehensive therapeutic substance known to man. Cannabis remained in the United States until 1941, and cannabinoids are currently patented by the federal government as an anti-inflammatory U.S. patent 6630507. Human brains have cannabinoid receptors. Cannabinoids are lubricants in the human body. Due to prohibition, our bodies have been denied essential lubrication. Imagine never changing or adding to the oil in your car. The use of cannabis for low THC may cause immediate relief, including a general feeling of well-being, chronic smiling or laughing, feelings of euphoria, increased creativity or clarity, a greater appreciation for music and art, the desire to dance, increased feelings of inspiration, compassion or unity, a need for truth and justice, or you may wake feeling more well-rested than usual. It's undetermined to know exactly how many symptoms the use of cannabis may alleviate because of federal prohibition. There were dozens identified in the 1909 Eli Lilly Pharmaceutical Handbook. Currently, over 80% of the population supports the right to use cannabis therapeutically, and 92% of its users have declared significant non-toxic relief. The most common side effects, which are usually mild to moderate and may fade or disappear completely over time, are dry mouth and drowsiness. Other more serious side effects can include growing and repairing brain cells and DNA or improved vision, may prevent Alzheimer's dementia, dementia, glaucoma, nausea, and suicide may provide relief from autism, asthma, anorexia, arthritis, AIDS, cancer, Crohn's, depression, epilepsy, fibromyalgia, gout, IBS, insomnia, MS, migraine, pain, Parkinson's, PTSD, and spasticity. Use caution while driving or doing other physical activities until you know how cannabis affects you. May cause paranoia or nervousness specifically caused by real-life government intervention in your quest for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness in the USA. Ask your doctor if cannabis may be right for you. Brought to you as a public service announcement by The People's Plant, a campaign of conscience. I know radio probably ain't gonna play this, but Chopper going off in the hood, man, like Afghanistan or the Gaza Strip somewhere, man. Yeah. We hear somewhere, we probably know him to it by now. After all, it's the American way, right? Home of the brave and free. It's America. Free just to murder me. Land of the handgun. Land of the beautiful. Home of the shotgun. I said it the home of the brave, I guess. I said it the home of the K's in the vet. All alone with the J's, smoking gay cause it's stressed. Don't crawl with the tent, suck the spray from the spit. I learned from the bed, you can stay in the gym. Brought work from the vets, burn a rub in the vet. It's good as a kid, you can play with the red. Then I got older and learned, stay away from the red. God bless you, nigga. The hustle up and make eight figures. Turn from a goon to a great young nigga. I complain that you're doing what it take, young nigga. I was raised in the decade, I hate young nigga. I would dodge your police because they hate young nigga. And we hate them too. 38 and him shoot. How to change of the system will take him through. He ain't a killer, but he will if you make him. Do a homicide here, ride right there, put them on trial Let them have a life in it, then do it with a smile And he only 19, he ain't even had a child As a child told him, mama, he'll be gone for a while And she cried, still did you put him inside Now she all on her own, cause her other son died Listen to the politician as he lied, and he lied He a snake in a suit, trying to hide in the sky Home of the brave and free Well, damn, officer, what I do? Free just to murder me Now hold on, man, don't shoot, I live over there Land of the beautiful Hey, hey man, what you doing, man? Cursed by the hate we Is this the new How many times did that happen to you? What the fuck you know about being a black man in America? Is this the new And you wonder why we walk around strapped? Fuck is you saying? Hey. For the 
the stars in the stripe, prison bars in the pipe. Young nigga rolling weed in a cigar, he could light. Bang red, either blue, selling hard in the white. Live by the gun, never run from a fight. Trey Bun in the hoodie, walking through a neighborhood, he didn't do shit to buddy, he didn't have to die, did he? I guess it cause his dad was a judge in the city. They didn't want him in the pen, wouldn't thug, they could get him. A jury of his peers said, all oh, were forgiven. A tough one of mine, right or wrong, I'ma kill him. Fill him with the lead, like the put him on, the king head, like the kill, make a man, ain't like a hoover did, yeah. You can catch me in the hood where the shoot niggas at. They don't know if neighborhood or the hoover did. For you ain't fit to live. Land of the beautiful. To get something you never had, you might be willing to do something you never done. I'ma die by my hand. Over the prison, more than the people who got to keep the children from becoming prison. That makes sense. Tell me why nine ounces of crack get you more time than a rate right now. Tell me why the crazy white boy can tow the gun, but I can't right now. Yeah, I had felonies, I done did during the street, but I ain't never gave them nobody that deserved it. You know what I mean? I ain't never ran no public play with no pistol shooting, no innocent people. I ain't never ran no school killing no kids. Man, this is a result of you refusing to deal with the issues at hand. You placed us in. We ain't do it. We just live through it. Home of the brave and free. Got a message to my people. Free just to murder. Stop me. waiting on folk to help you help yourself. Start Land with you. Of the beautiful. Get yourself out. Reach back. Get somebody Could else out. The hate with Contemplate how I'm gonna make bucks. Oh. Rent is due soon, I'm pitching. Yeah. No different, I need to throw a change up. Before you start talking, get your weight up. Okay. Same dudes hating, they keep doing the same That's stuff. You. Cush loud, say what? Huh? We only look down the road weed and pray up. up. And blow my smoke to the heavens above. And thank God just for showing me love. For giving me the strength when push came to shove. And making this beautiful bud for real. Roll it up for the good times. Pour it out for the bad times. Roll it up for the good times. Pour it out for the bad times. Hit my knees and pray. I say goodbye to yesterday. I wake, then I bake, and everything's okay. And everything's okay, yeah. Hopped about the bed, grab my zip lock. Y'all know my campaign, smoke trees, not rocks. Fell asleep with a dream, came up with a plot. Now I'm bleeding my block off private stock. Trying to stack me up a million. House on the hill for my wife and my children. Flow non violent, but I'm talking about a killer. Could have called life or I could have fell a victim. But I ain't never slipped in the night. I hit my knees and pray. I try to talk to God, but he can't hear what I say. So if I go before my time, here's my soul to take. But if I get up in the morning let me bake when i wait roll it up for the good times pour it out for the bad times roll it up for the good times pour it out for the bad times hit my knees and pray i say goodbye to yesterday i wake then i bake and everything's okay and everything's okay yeah I'm all about feeling great on a day-to-day Double-fisted red cups, I ain't ashamed to say I'm trying to have the best summer I ever had Inhale some good, exhale the bad This is just the way things go first I wait, then I bake, then I elevate the cup Cause you only get to live life once But if you do it right, then once is enough So just remember that whenever times get tough And keep faith 
but that the God we trust. And remember, you can only take it day to day, and everything's gonna be okay. It'll be okay. Hey. Roll it up for the good times. Pour it out for the bad times. Roll it up for the good times. Pour it out for the bad times. Hit my knees and pray. I say goodbye to yesterday. I wake. Then I bake, and everything's okay, and everything's okay, yeah. And we're back, 12, 12 minutes after the hour. You're in tune to 710 Radio. Hey, the Wake and Bake Show with Miss Green Jeans. I hope y'all woke up this morning in a decent mood. I did not. I looked out the door. We still dealing with clouds. It's been, um, I mean, this is October. You got to realize, I'm in South Carolina. It's supposed to be cooling off this time of year. We've been in the 80s the last three days. And the humidity has been off the chain, so you can imagine I've been completely miserable. So y'all just don't know. It, it is taking a battle just to get out the bed to do these shows. So thank you, everybody, that do tune in. I appreciate it because y'all don't know. It's a battle just to get it done. So I'm going to leave that at that. But anyway, y'all know we got the big conference up in the ATL this week, um, the, um, the International Drug Policy. So um, my friends from... Um, it's um, North Carolina Women for Cannabis are there. I'm quite sure Minorities for Medical Marijuana is there. My friend Russ Belleville is there. I'm hoping to get in contact with Russ so I can talk to him, so I can get the first hand from a journalist aspect of um, what's going on there in the ATL. I'd have loved to have been there, but my health right now is not going to let me. My legs are not cooperating right now, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. I can't put in the leg work like I used to right now, and I'm hoping this will get better soon but hey you know i've only been out of surgery since march so i guess i'm trying to rush things a little bit and they did say it'll take a year to um recover so right now i'm doing the best that i can so hey y'all hey bear with me please um we're gonna get to the ones where we can't the those that we can't get to we know some people out there will bring us back some good eyewitness accounts and pictures so hey guys hey out there in the atl four hours away guys i'm waving at y'all right now you might can't see me but i'm waving i'm saying howdy y'all welcome to the south y'all welcome to the atl atlanta so uh it, it that says a lot if y'all don't know that says a lot right there let me go ahead and cue up the band here because y'all fail to realize we have a, a national conference in Atlanta talking about drugs. We're in the South now. Think about that. That's a, I want y'all to play with that for a second, okay? This is how serious it is. Okay, I posted this earlier this week. October 12th, which is today, Atlanta, 500 people to hold a candlelight vigil honoring those who lost their lives to the war on drugs. So, yeah, this is staying a lot right now. It's going to be at 8.30. And uh, they're going to be uh, out there um, at the Museum of Civil, Civil Rights, Civil and Human Rights in Atlanta. They're going to be paying tribute to those who fall into the drug war. So if you're in the ATL and you're in the Sound of My Voice, make sure you check that out tonight. Hey, please post pictures because I want to see. Okay, y'all know I'm nosy like that, all right? Also, for those who live in the area, and now remember now, let me give y'all some education and knowledge this morning while you're waking up. Hey guys, and those who do not live in the area of Maryland, remember, Maryland is the only state right now that is taking out-of-state patients, keyword, out-of-state. But this is what you need to do. Canacare Doctors, specialized in cannabis medicine, is www.canacare.com. Let me spell that out for you for those who can't understand my southern dialect. That's www.c. A N N A C A R E D O C S dot C O M. Now, if you didn't get it that time, that's not my fault. That's yours. Free. Notice I say free ninety nine. Y'all know I love that word. Free ninety nine medical cannabis evaluation for veterans. Notice I said a key word. Make sure you hear me say this well. For veterans, this is gonna be October 14, twenty seventeen at. One zero one five one York Road, Suite one eighteen, Corksville, Maryland. October the twenty first, the VFW Post, thirty two thirty eight, one sixty six Old Camden Road, Camden, Delaware. October the twenty eighth, seventy two seventy four, Credit Rockway, 
Columbia, Maryland. And the final date, I, no, excuse me, November the 4th, 2017, at 6495 New Hampshire Avenue, Suite B as in Bravo, 203, Tonoma Park, Maryland. The hours for this will be 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. You must call, keyword, you must call for a free registration, proof of military service required, and medical records required. For more information in Maryland, you can dial these numbers, 410-412-3470. In Delaware, 302-594-0630. In the District of Columbia, 202-350-2448. And for more information, info at canadots.com, and I gave you the website. So guys, you can't say I didn't try to tell y'all about something that was free. I just did. Okay, for those who are in Florida, if you need to learn about medical marijuana, we got a conference coming up for you on October 16th. Medical Mar Marijuana Awareness Day in St. Petersburg. It's going to be Monday at 1 p.m. at the State Bridge Suite, St. Petersburg, downtown. So check that out, my folks in Florida. Let's see what else I got going on. I know it was one other thing I wanted to cover as well. Oh, here we go. Um, if y'all don't know, um, Jill's running a campaign right now for Safe Access. Um, what she's doing is she's asking people to send her via email or on her um, instant, instant messaging about a uh, picture of yourself listing how many medications you have daily, how many surgeries you have, and still in pain. Put your first name, your city, and your state. If you live in South Carolina, this is for South Carolina residents. If you're in pain and you're trying to get help get medical cannabis passed, we need you to take a picture of yourself with holding up. For my example, mine would say 13 medications daily. Excuse me. Mine would say six medications daily, 13 surgeries, and I'm still in pain. It would say my first name. Rosemary, and then it would say Rock Hill, South Carolina. Mine will be posted sometime today. I'm having technical difficulties with my camera and also my printer, so I'm trying to get those taken care of. Once I do, mine will be going up. Also, hashtag take a knee for cannabis. My page will be changing up today as well. On that, I will be taking a knee for cannabis. That's right. Hashtag take a knee for cannabis is out there also, guys. We got a lot of stuff that's going on trying to make this ball move forward. We're, we've been on the 50 yard line too long it's time for us to make what we call a touchdown so if y'all don't know Atlanta has made the first steps by decriminalizing marijuana down to a fine of $75 it is yet to be signed and once again like I said when it's signed I will be the first to let you know because I know coach and everybody down in the ATL will let me know okay guys so don't get caught up while you're down in the ATL remember you still can get charged with cannabis possession there in Atlanta ladies and gentlemen so if you're doing what you're doing don't be doing it out in public because you'll be a hey, you come to the south and come in to be a hey, how they say how they used to say in Florida you go on vacation leave on probation we don't want that to happen to you okay so remember it is not there yet we're almost there and this will be a prime week for them to get y'all so don't use it in public you can't say Miss Green Jeans didn't warn you. I done told you twice. I'm telling you for the third time. If you're in the ATL, do not get caught using cannabis out in public. The bill has not been signed yet. Now, you can't say you haven't been told. Not once, not twice, but three times. Anyway, we're going to get y'all back to a little bit of music. And at 9.30, we should have Miss Emily McSherry with us. And she's going to be talking about her program is coming up, and guess what? I ain't going to spell the surprise, but she got a surprise for y'all. I can't wait. You're in tune with the Wake and Bake Show with Ms. Jean Ms. Green Jeans on 710 Radio. Good morning, Rick.
I don't need no cocaine, no crystal milk, no heroin, no gin, no Captain Morgan, no pussy hole, no OJ. I'm okay with Vancouver 8. That's some Eddie Cabrani for at home bake. One blood radio and I'm straight. Smoke with a thumb with my face. Weed, 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 weed. All I need is weed, 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 weed. All I need is weed, 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 weed. All I need is weed. So you can have that other shit that's fine. No Oxycontin, you can have it I'm breathing out so much smoke Niggas think that I'm half dragging Why you own that crystal, nigga? Why you own that tipper, nigga? Before I go that far again I'll get back on that liquor, nigga I done drove the country, them flown the globe My 20 packs of snow the O's Went to jail, got out of the army These days give a nigga crystal blow And I'm okay with Vancouver 8 Island Skunk, Cherry AK, Green Crack White Widow, throw a peace sign If you can't relate, it's a little Korean girl Throwing up peace right now, and I know why I hurt you. Why? Cause nigga, you hood as fuck. Uh-huh. But nigga, I'm universal. Yeah. Listen to good music, who we? Dev in the motherfucking dude, he wrote a song, I heard it. And now I got an ashtray just for my doobies. Sugar haze, lemon haze, dirt and poison, that shit's okay. But that pineapple express and that blueberry diesel be banging my brain. Smoke some katama, it's high CBD, that shit's healthy, killing my pain. So don't come to me talking about no pills, all I need is Mary Jane. I don't need no cocaine, no crystal milk, no heroin, no gin. No Captain Morgan, no pussy hole, no OJ. I'm okay with Vancouver 8. That's some Eddie Cabrani, some at home bake. One blood radio and I'm straight. Smoke with a thumb, all I need is weed, 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 weed. All I need is weed, 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 weed. All I need is weed, 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 weed. All I need is weed, so you can have that other shit that's something I don't need. All I need is weed. Blacks is some tasty edible. edible. A little wordplay, smoky smoke, based out high decibels. Banging out the back like a migraine. Doc said I'm insane. Want me on person, but that's really fucked, man. Half a bottle kicking nightmare in his ass, man. Can't be good. I don't get along with the muffins, oh, what a rush. Put you on the track like some Girl Scout cookies. For what? When I'm like the medicine man, no rookie. I gather pictures of bomb, I smoke mixed fire. Sticky, sticky in my spot. Sweet, marry the girl I desire. All I need is weed, weed, weed. I don't need no cocaine, no crystal milk, no heroin, no gin, no Captain Morgan, no pussy hole, no OJ. I'm okay with Vancouver 8. That's some Andy Cabrani, some at home bake. One blood radio and I'm straight. Smoke with a thumb, all I need is weed, 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 weed. All I need is weed, 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 weed. All I need is weed, 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 weed. All I need is weed, so you can have that other shit that's something I don't need. Don't forget to ring a towel. Puff, 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 puff. Puff, 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 Into my house, like what up? I got some good pot. I'm just pumped up, got some herb from the pot shop. Ice in the fridge, it used to be frosty. My friend's like, damn, that's a stoned ass donkey. Rolling in hella hot, looking like it's FIFA time. Dominating all my friends as I eat some chili fries. Draped in a snuggie with my girl sitting next to me. Probably shouldn't have had a big gulp full of iced tea. 
But shit, it was 99 cents. I'll be blazing and smoking it. About to go and get some munchies next. Passing up on those cracker jacks. Reese's pieces are where it's at. Gotta get me some soda pop. Cotton mouth has been creeping up. I can't remember where I put my keys. Yeah, that's what's up. I'ma take your grandpa's ride. I'ma take your grandpa's ride. No, for real. Ask your grandpa. Can I take a 65? DeVille cruising to my local Publix. Nothing better than rolling with two super fly chicks. They have frozen burritos. I bought frozen burritos. I bought some Ben and Jerry's. And then I bought some Cheetos. Hello, hello, my main man Obama. A couple states have just reformed their laws on marijuana. What you gonna do? Send the feds there? Hell no. The DEAs would be like, ah, oh, they got volcano. I'm gonna smoke some weed. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. How am I hunting? Looking for a pot shop. This is fucking awesome. I'm gonna smoke some. What you know about the science of marijuana? What you know about people suffering from glaucoma? They need it. They need it. It helps them with their condition. If you don't believe me, then just ask some eye physicians. Thank your granddad for voting for that guy, Richard. Nixon is the president who made the plant illegal. But science is now showing that it's medicine for people. And the private sector's fighting to keep all of that illegal. Alcohol and tobacco. Pharmaceutical prisons, I'll take those four major lobby groups and fight those motherfuckers. They're making money day and night, all those motherfuckers. And bribing Congress out of sight, all those motherfuckers. They'd be like, oh, it's immoral and unhealthy. I'm like, how many people are you making wealth? Anti-marijuana lobbies are making all kinds of profits and they don't want you to stop because of all the special interests. I call that getting swindled and pimp shit. I call that getting tricked by the government. That law's hella old. So it's time to update it, regulate it, and then get it under state control. Peak game, look into my political telescope. Think it's gonna stay like this forever? Not hella won't. Not hella won't. Hey Obama, stop being a hypocrite. You used to smoke weed, fool. I'm gonna smoke some weed. Only got $20 in my pocket. I'm a hunt, looking for a pot shop. This is fucking awesome. Let's end the
Yeah, claim that we be smoking, couldn't even try to suck. suck. How is it dope? Both them high as fuck. fuck. If you see it how I see it, then you know I'm fly, fly. Rolling up that Mary, smoking on it, la, la. See that cloud of smut, 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 just floating by. I went to bed, super that dope, dope. I woke up high. Strains I had, I okay. need a name drop, shit you know she's super bad, I'm point like pin the pad, show up with all I had, shit I have you bending corners working on the ad, you know what I grab, photos let's call it alley, alley. shit I have you bumping in the truck roll up like howdy, nope nope no country song, so move it along, howdy. this that fire that'll make you feel where you belong, yeah, shit will make you get crunk like Lil John. Paper, smoke it in a bomb. Ba -ba -ba I'ma make you go to sleep and wake up dough. Yeah, dro dro so bright and shiny, looking just like snow. Snow, snow. Have your lighter in your hand, you think you lost it? Yeah. Top shelf, nothing less is gonna cost it. Caution, showed up to the crib and came sober. She smoked so much she woke up with a hangover. If you see it how I see it, then you know I'm fly, fly. Rolling up that Mary, smoking on it, la la. That cloud of smut, 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 just floating by. I went to bed, super that dope, dope. I woke up high, I, I woke up high, I, I woke up high, I went to bed, super that dope, dope. I woke up high, I, I woke up high, I, I woke up high, I went to bed, super that dope, dope. I woke up high. And we're back. It is now 33, 33 minutes after the hour. We got a call on the line. Caller, go ahead and tell everybody who you are and where we calling for today. Hi, Rosemary. It's Emily McSherry again with David Forward. We spoke just just briefly. I mean, what day was that? I can't even remember. <laughs> oh, man, don't even worry about it. I can't even. <laughs> We were talking about the South Carolina Cannabis Conference coming up in Greenville, South Carolina on October 29th, and I wanted to call in today because we've had a massive boom in our ticket sales over the weekend and over the first couple of days of this week, and we only have 29 tickets remaining. Wait a minute, you um, put on air, wait a minute, before we came on air, you posted that you had 31, so you trying to tell me you done sold, is that four more tickets? <laughs> We do, we've been selling tickets. Oh you know, yesterday we sold 20 tickets online. So it seems to be that about every day since Saturday we've been selling about 20 tickets a day. Wow, so, that um, is if great. If people are wanting to go, they should probably head over to CannabisForward.org and scoop up the last of the tickets before they're gone because we do not have the capacity to be able to release more tickets. But, a smaller venue there's only 150 people capacity so um we, we we've got only a few left so get on that computer on your phones on your devices and scoop up the ticket now if you're wanting to attend a borrow a phone or a borrow a computer go to the public library whatever you do just make sure you get it done that is uh i'm excited first of all i'm excited about doing something like this in south carolina because i just did harvest of the good in north carolina and it was such a huge success so i know this was going to be a huge success as well so you talk yeah, about so somebody's excited to have you there with us too rosemary I'm, I'm super stoked to see you and to have you uh, oh. participate at this event with us i can't wait to see you and hug you oh, i can't wait to see and hug you too girl i'm gonna tell you like this here this has been a long time coming and I wish I could come to all the events, but I, for obvious medical reasons, I can't and financial as well. Right. You know, but, right. mm -hmm. you know, let's be real about it, you know. But when I can, I may, I do my best and I try to get the best presentation possible. So for those people that's on the fence, y'all need to go ahead and come out. Don't come out because of me and Emily. Come out. I mean, Emily, I mean, y'all have put together an outstanding 
outstanding, I mean, group of um, presenters and um, vendors and everything. I looked at the list and I'm like, some of the company I'm with, I'm in awe and wow. I mean, first of all, thank you so very much for um, giving me the opportunity to be out there to uh, talk about cannabis. And second of all, with such a group of people, I mean, wow, I was blown away by the list. Would you like to share with our listeners real quick, not all of them, but some of the people that they get an opportunity to see if they purchase that ticket? Yes, absolutely. We we have a very wide range of people participating as vendors. We have some medical cannabis advocacy groups like Minorities for Medical Marijuana, Columbia Normal, and South Carolina Compassionate Care Alliance will be there. We also have vendors such as Smoke and Brew, which is a counterculture store here in Greenville that has one of the largest supplies and CBD available in Greenville. We also have um, some people from Nevada, Quality Cannabis Solutions, people from Colorado, Horticultural Solutions. We also have Lotus, which is a hydroponic farm and garden supply. They have two locations, one in Asheville and one in Greenville. They'll be joining us, as well as a bunch of other companies that are going to be participating and our presenters at the conference. We have Kendra Jeffrey with Ladybugs Medibles and the North Carolina Cannabis Patients Alliance. Um, we also have Bill Nettles, the former U.S. Attorney General for South Carolina. And I'm going to be speaking, doing a medical jargon breakdown, helping people understand the terminology that's used in medical cannabis research. And our keynote speaker is coming to join us all the way from Vancouver, Washington, Farmer Tom. He's going to be teaching us a little bit about organic cannabis growing techniques. I have already fell in love with him already. I've been reading some of his posts. When he's hooked up. I think he hooked up with me right after he found out that I was going to be there. And let me tell yeah. you guys, y'all, are, oh, I, I, I mean, I can't wait. I'm, I'm, I'm super stoked, you know. I know I'm going to have a booth there, but at the same time, I'm going to be like peeping around, looking a little... <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's referred to as the Santa Claus of cannabis. <laughs> yes, I mean it's like this. It, this is almost like being in Denver, and I say almost because the fact is, do not think because we're having this event, and I always have to put this out to anything I go to, there will not be no using of cannabis. There will be no cannabis right. products at this event. We have to say that. That's right. We have to put that clause out there. We have to put that out. I'm sorry, uh, Emily, but we have to put that out for the simple fact is of this. We both know how South Carolina sled is, okay? Yes. And so, by the fact that they they figured, well, I'm going to be there. That's already a a red flag right there within itself, okay? (laughs) I'm sorry to say it, Emily, but with my past being with one with uh, one blunt, being on MTV, being on all this stuff, you know, I'm just putting it out there to protect my behind as well. Listen, Mr. Popo, yes. don't come to, don't come to my booth. Come checking me checking me down because you're gonna be a waste of time and a lawsuit waiting to happen because I ain't stupid. <laughs> yeah, well, we we do have you know it's very strict at all of our events and no cannabis consumption. We say even if it's legal in South Carolina, let's just not give any reason for harassment. Uh, there will be CBD products available for purchase there, but again, no consumption on the on the ground. We do need to, you know, put our best foot forward. We do have some security detail work in there to make sure that that is uh, that rule is adhered to, and so everybody is on the same page. <laughs> well, I like that idea. The fact is this: I put that out there to give some people, you know, some, uh, you know, relax and ease. And real quick, good morning, Miss Michelle Lemay of Canvas University. She's listening this morning. Good morning, Michelle. SOS, smoking one, sister. Um, I do that even if we are at events, if, even if I was a bit in Denver, I would always put that out there. So it's just my practice to when I go to an event to put information out there for a need to know basis because we got some people, unfortunately, in the community that you really do have to let them know, dude, I understand your point. However, you can't do that. It's sad but true. Hello? Hello? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I thought you said you were bringing in Michelle from somewhere. No, uh, no, I was saying hello to Michelle. She's out in Denver. Oh. We waiting on you, Emily. 
Uh, I'm sorry. I thought you were saying, I'm sorry, my bad. I, I thought you were bringing Michelle into the conversation, and I thought maybe I just couldn't hear because of the way that the phone system is set up. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's no problem. That is no problem whatsoever. If I'm bringing another person, you'll know prior to me doing that. I'd never do that to you on a surprise. I wouldn't yeah, never do that. No, I don't mind having other people. You know me. I'm, a, I'm, <laughs> I'm not afraid of talking. <laughs> well, well, it's, it's every- Everybody wants to, uh, like once again, go to CannabisForward.org and get online to get those tickets. Again, we've only got about 29 tickets remaining. Uh, we do expect them to sell out by the end of the day, today or tomorrow. And we had a little uh, contest running where those that had purchased the VIP ticket uh, would be entered into a drawing to announce our keynote speaker, Farmer Tom, at the actual conference. They'll get up behind the microphone and, and read from a, an introductory script to introduce Farmer Tom. So we'll be doing that drawing on Sunday. So if you purchase a VIP ticket, please watch our Facebook page, our social media pages, so that you can discover if you were the winner and get to announce Farmer Tom. That's exciting. Okay, this is my question. Is uh, your VIP sold out? The VIP sold out uh, last week. Wow, that's incredible. That's usually the last one to go, so that's great. It's great. We're we're real excited to see the 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 talk the buzz. I guess you could say I hate to use a hot word like that, but the buzz is on. We're super excited. We think it's going to be a fantastic event, and we. Um, I appreciate you having me on the air to talk about it today, Rosemary. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, you're so welcome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to some music because I need to talk to Miss Emily off the air for a second, guys. And y'all don't need to hear our conversation. So guess what? We're gonna give y'all a little <laughs> bit of music and we're gonna um, wrap the show up right after I come back. Hey, you're in tune to Seventeen Radio, uh, the Wake and Bake Show with Miss Green Jeans. Once again, thank you, Emily. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, Rosemary. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, it's a healing of the nation, yeah, whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, well, I want them say, yeah, whoa, whoa, yeah. Me put a seed in the garden, I can't wait to watch it grow, so Babylon, me beg a little pardon, please leave my herbs alone, me put a seed in the garden. I can't wait to watch it rise. So Babylon, they beg a little pardon. Hurry up and legalize. So me sing again. Where me would I may come from? Where the price of earth is too steep. Oh yeah. Me won't get a quarter allowed, but me struggle to make ends meet. Oh yeah, yeah. So all my Bermudians like just slips and let them know. Hey, we not born regular. It's only I grade that below. Me put a seed in the garden, I can't wait to watch it grow. So Babylon, me beg a little pardon, please leave my herbs alone. Me put a seed in the garden, I can't wait to watch it rise. So Babylon, me beg a little pardon, hurry up and legalize, so we sing again. Can somebody tell me when my government will see? Oh yeah, a lot of these countries are legalized, ganja are dead free. Yo, stop living in the past, have to keep up with the times Don't charge me with possession, stop messing up the life Don't pressure the people, stop hiking up the price You're telling fear lies, and now you be a despise So, me put a seed in the garden I can't wait to watch it grow So Babylon, me beg a little pardon Please leave my herbs alone Me put a seed in the garden I can't wait to watch it rise So Babylon, me beg a little pardon Hurry up and legalize, so me sing again. Spread them around, spread them around, plant them all over. Don't cut them down, don't cut them down, Mr. Officer No Son. Me love the feeling from the healing, oh yeah. So let the herbs grow to the ceiling. Me put a seed in the garden, I can't wait to watch it grow. So Babylon, me beg a little pardon. Please leave my herbs alone. Me put a seed in the garden. I can't wait to watch it rise. So Babylon, me beg a little pardon. 
hurry up and legalize so me sing again.
Yeah. It's that high life. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Feeling good right now. I just wanna smoke, smoke, smoke. smoke. We could burn it up. Woo! Crack the dust and roll it up. Just roll wanna it. smoke, 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 smoke. We could burn it up. Crack the dust and roll it That's up. Right. Just wanna smoke, 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 smoke. We could burn it up. Woo! Crack the dust and roll it up. Uh, I just wanna smoke. That's right. Smoke. That's right. Uh. Love to smoke in my mind, focus, not acting That's wild. Right. My eyes rose at this cipher, going all the way around. See memories flow and keep me up, yeah, never down. I continue smoking, speaking through the clouds. My motion <laughs> different from yours. You enjoy that like a mouth. We both in hell on it, but the outcome different style. I'm more a chill person, laid back up in the house, looking to the ceiling, stuck feeling how I'm living now. All that stress gone, feel better when my chest burn. Coughing up loud, I know it's gonna be back around. Just past that Mary Jane, that Roma bringing out a crowd. What's no up? worries at all, yeah, we being loud, enjoying uh-huh. life, some kind of lost, but they feeling down, Come that blind will bring you back around, hold on tight, I'm thinking to myself, like, what is life, that struggle for the months, knowing this ain't right, I hate to smoke, but this a good night, I just night. wanna smoke, 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 smoke. we could burn it up, Woo! crack the dust and She coming through, said meet me at the house, bring some guards, she said I'm feeling you, baby girl, roll it tight, never loose, like sitting on the couch, give me looks like you don't know what to like do, you trying to face one, one more plans, well we can make some, I hit that blunt, my eyes get low, like where you get this from, she said Jamaica, she plugged in a nice flavor, that joint was burn my lungs, feel me getting higher baby, right. time for you to pull one, she think and grab me closer, temperature rise, she's talking rubbing on the thick as ever, she got a man but he don't smoke, that's why she like me better, can't wait. I just love when we smoke together So much smoke like foggy weather Make it always feel better Pouring out of pain like an open letter I love to listen, see if it's one of low So dirty, give my attention But for real, I just want to smoke I just want to smoke, 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 smoke We could burn it up Crack it Do you support diversity in cannabis? If so, Minorities for Medical Marijuana is for you. Minorities for Medical Marijuana, Inc. is a nonprofit organization focused on advocacy, outreach, and education regardless of the business, medical, social reform, and public policy aspects of the community. Join us. Membership has its advantages. Monthly cannabis meetings and investor network meeting, cannabis training and scholarships, Dice, diversity, cannabis expertise, networking mixers, physicians network, cannabis career center, business development, cannabis pitch fest, and public policy outdates. For more information, you can contact 877-900-8322 or www.m4mm.com united.org or on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, vote for Bud now. Once again, that is Minorities for Medical Marijuana. I am the chapter president of the South Carolina Chapters of Minorities for Medical Marijuana, and I'm a proud member to be a part of it. Come join us. If you don't want to run your own chapter, hey, come join us here in South Carolina. We'd be glad to have the help. You get to meet new people, you get to experience some great things, and also you get to hang out with yours truly. Once again, that is Minorities for Medical Marijuana. Tell them Rosemary sent you. You hear me?
Hey, it is now 57, 57 minutes after the hour. Guys, thank y'all so very much for tuning in today to 710 Radio, um, the Wake and Bake Show with Miss Green Jeans. I appreciate everybody that tunes in. If you don't tune in now and you're listening later, thank you. I do appreciate it. Emily, I definitely appreciate you, girl. I know how you're feeling. I mean, today that pain level is on a 7 to 9, and those who know, you know, you know, the different pain levels, that's not a good level. So I hope you feel better soon, girl. My prayers are with you. Um, and this is the reason why I'm finna come to this point. Y'all know I always end the show like this. We lose 22 people a day to suicide. And that to lose one is one too many. You know, I'm with trying to help curb that is situation. If we had cannabis in veterans' lives, I guarantee you the numbers would drop. Each state that has had medical cannabis passed, the um, suicide rate has dropped 25%. So what are you waiting on, South Carolina? You're waiting for another person to commit suicide on opioids, regardless if they're in the military or not? It's time to end the lies, end the drug war against cannabis. Let people use this medication as needed. So, guys, you think about that, okay? And each one teach one. Reach out to three people today that don't know about cannabis. Just hold a random conversation. Trust me, it works. I've been doing it for a while now. Yeah, I get some crazy looks and stuff, but you know what? A lot of people be surprised the responses that you get. Trust me, I have been. And you might make a new friend. You never know. And my final thought is this. Hey, thank you, Rick. Once again, if y'all don't know who Rick is, Rick Rainwright is a veteran just like myself, and he um, sponsors this show with 710 Radio each and every day that I come on air. I thank you so very much, Rick, for believing in our dream here in South Carolina and letting us do what we do best, and that's entertain, educate, and inform. So once again, thank you, Rick. Love you, man. One veteran to another. Hugs. And I got your six, man. Hey, guys, that's it for us today. Hey, we'll be back tomorrow. Remember, there is no uh, Rosemary's World of Canvas today. I'm going to be checking out the different um, broadcasts from um, Atlanta. So, y'all take care. I'll talk to talk to y'all tomorrow. It's Friday high day. And you know I'm going to have a show kicking with some new music. Because I'm tired of this myself. Talk to you soon. Later. I'm out. <laughs>
heal me, but he only gave me problems. Problems, my drug dealer was a doctor. Doctor had the plug from Big Pharma. Pharma, I think he trying to kill me. Kill me, tried to kill me for a dollar. Dollar. Re up, re up. That certificate signed the prenup. Ain't no coming back from this prick. It said activist, ambient, Adderall, Xanax binge. Best friends with the thing that's killing me. Enemies with my best friend. There's no healing me. Refilling these, refilling these. They say it's debt, debt. Institutions and DOC. So God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can. And the wisdom to know the difference. Wisdom to know the difference.